What's up, guys? That flying Ryan back at you here. Just upgraded to 3.2 beta flight. Turn turtle mode on, and I'm gonna show you how to turn that on, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So, all right, we're gonna place the quad upside down just to show you guys. Check it out. Quads upside down. I'm gonna activate the turtle mode. Arm it. Yeah, that's turtle mode right there. You can fly the quad upside down and all. What do you guys think about that? I'm gonna show you how it's done right now. Okay guys, so here in beta flight, you're gonna plug in your drone and you're gonna connect to turn on turtle mode. Let's see if it'll connect. There we go. Okay, so to turn turtle mode on, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to configuration here, configuration, and you have to make sure you're on D-Shot here, D-Shot. It has to be on D-Shot or this will not work. Um, also, in BL Heli, you want to make sure you're on the most updated firmware version for your ESCs in BL Heli. Guys, I'm sure you know what BL Heli is this configurator here you need to upgrade in this configurator to the latest firmware for your ESC's once you've done so that you can go ahead and select DSHOT 600 save and reboot once you've saved and reboot you're gonna come down to modes over here modes okay and you're gonna scroll down you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see DSHOT reverse motors okay once you turn on D-Shot Reverse Motors, you're going to add it onto a switch, whatever switch you want it to be. So that way when you flip the switch, it'll come on pretty much. Let me turn my controller on and I'll show you guys. I'm going to disconnect real quick. Unplug my quad, that way my receiver connects. Reconnect. You go back down over here to modes. Sorry, not motors, modes. So you can see I have air mode on a switch. What you're going to do here is once you flip the D shot reverse motors on a switch, it'll arm. So pretty much what happens is if you flip upside down, okay, you disarm the quad. Flip your D-Shot reverse motor switch, whatever switch you want to make it on, okay? Then, what you're going to do is rearm the quad, and when you rearm the quad, when you rearm the quad, it's going to turn the props on in reverse. And you'll be able to fly the quad upside down, okay? As you've seen in the video I just did. So, that's how you turn it on. Now... You have to come into CLI and you have to type in some magical commands so that way the quad's upside down, it will arm. Give me a second and I'll get those magical commands for you. you to find out your angle, you're going to type get small underscore angle. And you're going to press equal. I have mine set to 180 already because I've already set this up. So now you want to change it from stock, which I believe stock was 20 on for, for me when I when I typed get angle in. Now you're gonna type set space small underscore angle equals 180 and you're gonna press enter. And it's gonna say set small angle to 180. You're gonna type save and press enter. It's gonna reboot 
and voila, you are good to go. Now go fly your quads upside down. Enjoy, man, that flying Ryan bringing you another how-to video. I hope you enjoyed it and liked it. Sorry for the messy hair. No T-Motor hat on today, but I'm going to go put it on right now for you guys. Out. All right, guys, I'm going to give you one quick, one more demonstration. Right side up. We're going to arm it. Purposely flip it over. Oh, land it right side up. Okay. All right, we crashed upside down. Oh, no. We're upside down. Can you see that, guys? Flip my switch, turn my props on. Boom. Turn the switch back off, rearm it. And you'll be able to make it back home from that race. Congrats. <laughs> I broke the strap for the battery. Thought I'd been a prop, but battery strap. No biggie. 3.2 for you.